In this video I'll tell you 5 reasons you should consider getting one of these for your camera, plus a bonus tip. What is up YouTube? Hope you're having a great day. My name is Carl and today I want to talk a bit about battery grips. Have you ever considered buying a camera grip or maybe you're thinking about it and that's why you're watching this right now? Well, here are my 5 top reasons why I think camera grips are great. Number 1. Extended battery time. Okay, I know this is kind of a no-brainer, but just hear me out. If you have a camera with pretty bad battery time, like my A6300, this one makes a huge difference not having to swap out the batteries all the time. Oh, extended battery time, that's freaking genius. How come nobody has thought of that? It's not like the word battery is literally in the product's name. That's just as stupid as saying Number 2. Bigger grip Cameras have generally become smaller, which is pretty cool, but it usually also means a smaller and or shorter grip. With this, the pinky finger gets a nice resting place. Number 3. Portrait shutter button Alright, finally a point that isn't in the name of the product. If you're like me and always holding the camera in portrait mode for the gram, this might just be the best feature of the battery grip. On the right side of the battery grip we find this shutter button that works exactly like the one on the camera with half press for focus and full press for snap. Number 4. Remote control. Some battery grips come with a wireless remote control which is great when you can't touch the camera between taking pictures like let's say you're doing a time lapse or a stop motion and you want the camera to stay exactly in the same place between every shot then this is something for you. Granted most cameras can be connected to your smartphone but if you're a Sony shooter you know what I mean when I say I try to stay away from that app as much as possible. Thank you very much. Number 5. Weight. Why is weight good? Well, it's really more about balance. As I said earlier in the video, cameras today are generally small and thus light, but lenses can be pretty heavy. So this helps quite a bit to shift the center of gravity backwards, which is especially important when you're trying to balance the camera on a gimbal. And for the bonus tip, charging station. This is something I figured out just recently. You see, my camera didn't come with a battery charger, but a cord you plug into the wall and into the camera, charging the battery inside the camera. But, 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 with this thing, I can put both of my batteries inside and then just connect the cord to this USB port and it works great. Of course I'm not saying anyone should buy a battery grip solely for this reason, but it's a nice bonus if you don't have a battery charger. So did you learn anything today or was it just things you already knew? If you did, feel free to hit that like button, one like equals one cat treat and subscribe to see more videos like this about camera gear. If you didn't learn anything, feel free telling me I suck alligator nuts and beating the shit out of the dislike button. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments and if you got any other tips how to use a battery grip that I didn't mention. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.